The physical geography of the United States is one of vast and varied landscape which divide the country into six main regions. The coastal plains, Appalachian Mountains, Interior Plains, Rocky Mountains, Intermountain, and Pacific Coast. The dark green portion of the map is the coastal plains region. A coastal plain is defined as an area of flat, low-lying land adjacent to a seacoast and separated from the interior by other features. The southeastern coastal plain of the United States spans more than 2,000 miles from Massachusetts to the southernmost tip of Texas. It begins by gently sloping towards the sea from the highlands of the interior until it finally reaches the coast. Coastal plains are comprised of sedimentary deposits from inland river currents making their way to the ocean. These deposits over time create a flat, gently sloping landscape. In some areas, such as the Florida Everglades and Louisiana bayous, the interface is below sea level. Moving inland from the coastal plains, we come to the Appalachian Mountain region, which is the light green highlighted portion you see on the map. As the oldest mountain region in the U.S., it spans over nine states, from as far north as Maine, all the way to Alabama in the south. West Virginia is a truly unique state because it is the only state that is completely encompassed by this region. The area consists of three physiogeographic regions. The Blue Ridge Mountains, with the highest peak in the area, constitute the eastern region. Central, Southern, and Eastern Tennessee, as well as the Southwest Virginia Valleys and their ridges, constitute the central region. And the Appalachian Plateau forms the western region. Settled areas and cultivatable land are scattered along st streams and their basins, coves, and hollows. The brown portion of the map highlights the interior plains region, which covers a vast area spanning more than a thousand miles from the western border of the Appalachian Mountains to the eastern border of the Rockies. It extends from our northern border with Canada all the way to the Gulf Coastal Plains in the south. The region is split into two distinct subregions, the Central Plains and the Great Plains. The Central Plains are known as the agricultural heartland and commonly referred to as America's breadbasket as the majority of the grains grown in the U.S. take place in these fertile lowlands. The Great Plains is a semi-arid, treeless plateau which covers parts of 10 states. Averaging less than 20 inches of rainfall each year, the region's climate is that of extremes. Excessive heat and drought in the summer months, as well as having brutal winters. Violent weather plagues the region with damaging hailstorms and devastating tornadoes. In purple, we have the Inner Mountain region, which is located between the Rocky Mountains to the east and the Pacific Coastal Ranges to the west. The topography of this region is comprised of basins, ranges, and plateaus. The precipitation and climate vary in this region as the rain shadow effect blocks much of the region's rainfall from Pacific storms, creating arid deserts in the southern portion. All areas of this region have hot summers, but the winter climate is dictated by the area's latitude, with short, dry, warm winters in the southern region and cooler, wet winters in the north. Latitude and elevation also dictate the type of vegetation from temperate coniferous forests in the north to arid, arid deserts and shrublands in the south. The final area on our map is the Pacific Coast region in blue, which is made up of mountain ranges and inland valleys. The climate of the region varies and is dictated by the latitude and the west-to-east airflow of the Pacific Ocean. 
Precipitation fluctuates from high levels in the northwest where average rainfall is between 45 and 81 inches annually and low levels in the south that receive 4.5 to 13.5 inches annually. The continental Pacific Northwest is known for its temperate climate and mild summers and winters. The world's tallest trees are found in this region. The coastal redwoods and Douglas fir are both found in southern Oregon and northwestern California. Some coastal forests are classified as temperate rainforests. Further south, in the inland valley, the region's climate is comparable to the Mediterranean, which is considered quite rare. Winters are cool and wet, while summers are hot and dry. This climate is created by the Pacific High Pressure System, which moves northward during the summer months and southward during the winter. The Pacific High dominates most of the Pacific coast in the, of the U.S., bringing warm, dry weather. In the winter, the Pacific High moves south, allowing the Pacific, nor Pacific North low pressure storms to migrate southward, bringing rain, snow, and cold.